Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Hello everyone. I just wanted to stop in here for a minute and let everyone know. I get questions all the time about buying the lighters that you see in the videos. And I just got busy today taking pictures again and beginning that process of uh, hopefully getting all these lighters that I have here, uh, getting the photos taken and um, the listings written and everything up. So anyway, I just wanted to stop in here to just say a few words about that show you some of the lighters that you can expect to see and let you know how you can find them so number one is going to be dependableflame.com slash current ebay listings that's going to be where every listing that goes up will appear first the photos the video They'll all be on that page before I go over and create the listing on eBay. And from there, then come back over and make all those links live. So you can just keep your focus right there on that one page. You know, maybe if you got a certain uh, routine you have every day, you know, a lot of you check in with YouTube every day. Maybe go ahead and put that page and bookmark it and just go ahead and drop in there like you would your favorite searches on eBay or the Zippo website or wherever it is that you're checking in on a daily basis. So let me see if I can uh, move this around here without causing too much trouble. So you'll see a lot of the Viceroy cigarette advertising, Jamaica lighter. You'll recognize a lot of these from the videos. Well, you should recognize all of them from the videos if you're watching them. So there's a lot of good stuff in there. Aluminum block lighters, Ronson's, really cool graphics on some uh, Penguin ad lighters. As I've mentioned several times before, when you go to purchase from one of our listings, the auctions are going to be starting at a penny. There are three of those a month, and 100% of those listings end up going to HDSA, Huntington's Disease Society of America. Now, most of these listings, as these come up, I will do a little bit of research. If I'm not familiar with where they normally sell at, then I look on eBay, sold listings. I look on Worth Point, and uh, I come up with a value of what I think it should sell for. From there, I list it for somewhere between 25 percent to a third 25 to 33 percent more than what I think it should bring now there are some factors that could change that a little bit um, as you can see there's some lighters that I'm probably going to be listing that are some of my favorites some that I've gushed over in videos those may have a little bit higher price tag on them it may take a little bit more to pry them out of my hands but everything here all of these I think I have one listing up right now that doesn't have the best offer and the only reason is because I got several offers right around where the buy it now is currently and I just decided to quit quit messing with that lighter it's not worth enough for me to have any heartache of having to make any decisions over so it's listed at $35 and the person that buys it they're just gonna get it or it won't sell but these are different these are these are all going to be brand new fresh listings um, some case cases some case lighters some ashtrays and uh, 
So whatever the asking price, the buy it now price, don't sweat it. If you want to offer, make an offer, make an offer. I'm not going to be offended. Just don't be offended if I don't respond to your lowball offer. Don't be offended, please, if I don't respond to any offer. That's just sort of the way that I've set this up so that I can do the listing, get it up, and then a lot of them get promoted uh, by eBay. Well, when I get back up to uh, top-rated seller status, they will. I don't pay for that, but when it's free. Um, so a lot of them will sell that way. And uh, anyway, this is just sort of the way I do it. I'm trying to make it as hassle-free and as user-friendly for me and the buyer as possible. I'm very respectful and um, the people who have purchased from me are, are generally very happy with their purchases. So as I said, make an offer if you want. You're not going to offend me even if, uh, even if I ignore it or just flat decline. Uh, that's fine. I make offers all the time that I get ignored or declined. Most of the time just ignored and that's fine. So as I was saying, um, keep an eye on that page, dependableflame.com slash current eBay listings. The link will be in the uh, the link will be below in the uh, description of this video so that um, everyone can make sure and, and find it. If you've got any lighters that you've been looking forward to me listing, then ask about it and I'll, I can list them in the order that somebody's interested if I know somebody really, really wants to purchase one of these today. So as I said, that's uh, just what I wanted to drop in and say. The normal stuff, you know to like, subscribe, and share. Leave those comments below. And make sure check in on that website. Until next time.